everybody. It's me. I'm back. I know it's been a little bit uh, with the coronavirus and everything else that's been going on. It just hasn't been easy to get to, you know, having the time to make a video. But I sure did miss y'all, so I'm glad to see you. And um, I had hit a couple of craft stores uh, last year. One was Michael's, and um, they had a bunch of clearance stuff. And I pick some stuff up thinking, oh, I can do this this weekend, right? Well, you know those things where you pick it up and you think, yeah, I can do it. And then you stick it in a box and then you find it two years later. Well, it's kind of what I did. Um, this was a planner um, refills. And uh, and I like it because it's it doesn't have the exact date or year, you know, so you can fill that in anytime you want. Yeah, that. There we go. Um, and I would picked it up thinking, because it didn't have a cover, it was just the refills. And I thought, well, I can make a cover that'll, you know, that'll match these. These are really, really pretty. I mean, I love the designs. Oh, what's the uh, next one? And they're already tabbed for the month. And, and so, I figure wanted to try and do some spring cleaning and I came across this and I thought this would be perfect to just go ahead and do. So I thought this would match the cover or the first for January anyway. So I cut out some scrap um, pieces a little bit bigger than the pages themselves and I went ahead and put some double-sided tape on it. Um, I love using recycles. One, I can't afford the uh, chipboard all the time. And two, why spend money on chipboard if you can, you know, uh, kind of use your own. So, I mean, yeah, some of it's not as stiff as regular chipboard, but you can get chipboard um, in any width or thickness too. So, yeah, I know I have fingernails, but I can't stand the feeling of that tape under my nails anymore. So, sometimes I will, and eh, just today I don't feel like it. So, <laughs> that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. It takes a lot less time to, uh, to do it this way than fight with your fingernails. As my fingernails are too thick sometimes to get underneath the edges. There we go. Alright, and I'm going to leave an edge around. Uh, eh, straight enough ish right isn't that the word we use is ish <laughs> it's straight ish <laughs> it's even ish it's five ish okay let's do the other one If you hear the crunching in the background, that's my new dog. Well, she's, she's not new, but she's new to me. Ha ha ha. I got her when she was about four months old. And she's nine months old now. She's part husky and part beagle. Yeah. Go figure that. But she's adorable. I didn't realize... And please, if you had any success or um, experience with a husky, please give me some hints in the comments below. Because I will tell you, she is one difficult puppy. I've always been, you know, fairly good at training my dogs and... Uh, you know, 
getting a good grade. Um, but boy, oh boy. <laughs> she is one aggressive chewer. I can tell you that. And that may not be the breed. It might just be, you know, because she is an aggressive chewer. Oh, let me get my paper cutter. I'll be right back. But yeah, she's a... Uh... Oh, man. And the people I got her from... And they're just friends of the family, you know, which is cool. But they said her favorite thing to chew on was rocks and socks. I thought, cool, you know, rocks and socks. I can handle that. <laughs> okay, well, that's not the only thing she likes to chew on, put it that way. I've lost two boots from one from two different pairs. I've lost a pair of slippers. Um, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Hmm. Anyway, but, uh, and she's a prolific hunter, which is, you know, kind of awesome because. I mean, I think that's part of the beagle in her. It might be part of the husky. I don't know, but. Um, yeah, she's caught rabbits. She ate one. Now she just eats them and doesn't show me this time because I freaked out when she brought me a baby rabbit and couldn't get her to drop it. I chased her all over the backyard with a daggum stick and she still wouldn't drop it. <laughs> I'm like, fine, you get a, you get heartburn. I'm not dealing with it. But, you know, we kind of live out in the country, so. And there's going to be rabbits and possums and. Ah, that's a little bit. But, yeah. So, so far she's brought me rabbits. She's eating a snake. Got a snake, but still. Snake is a snake is a snake. Um, what was it? Uh, a squirrel. Yep, she chewed up a squirrel. And decided to bring me its tail. Ha ha ha, I was so thrilled. <sighs> but I know. It's here, Mommy. I brought this for you. Didn't I do a good job? No, stop bringing me carcasses. My grandson, who is 17 years old this year, the first time Gracie brought me a, that's my dog, Gracie, uh, brought me a, a, the rabbit, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, come get it, come get it. He's laughing his butt off at me thinking, ha 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 ha. I'm like, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Don't, uh -uh. I'm not happy. Don't do this to me. <laughs> and he just thought it was the funniest thing. But, uh. So yeah, anybody have any hints? Um, I was talking to someone over 4th of July weekend. And uh, they have a purebred husky. And she told me, it's her ex uh, experience, that, um, you know, when they hit about, uh, I guess it's about 14 to 18 months old, somewhere in that time frame that they just decide to out of the blue just calm down so i'm like oh so that means i have uh five to nine more months to go she chewed a hole in my favorite t-shirt i was so mad and i don't even know if i can get another one but uh yeah, there are days that I go back and forth like, am I going to keep her? Am I going to bury her? Am I going <laughs> to shoot her off to the moon? And then there's other days where she just cuddles up with me and I'm like, oh, sometimes you just can't win. But she's great company. All my kids are grown and, you know, 
raising their own families and living their own lives and uh, but Okay, so obviously you can see what I'm doing with this since I'm just yammering at the, you know. But I haven't talked to you guys in so long, so might as well, right? No. But for those who may not, you know, you cut, if you're cutting a cover or a covering, um, obviously you want to cut it bigger than your cover so you can fold over the edges. <clears throat> And yes, I'm burnishing it down. Um, and you can use glue or, you know, that uh, peel and stick stuff. I think Tim Holtz has some of that. I don't know if he still, if that line still carries it or not. I've been way out of the, what do you call it, the mainstream? I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, so then you just fold it over. have any leftover tape sticking out of the end just fold it back over on itself and like right here you've got a little bit hanging off the edge just fold it back on itself and fold it down so then there I've got one cover and yes, I did already measure um, and cut these out before I even turned the camera on. I was looking at some of my other videos and a lot of that stuff I could have probably just, you know, skipped over. I think some of it was conversation too and that's kind of my, my thing. I've got a Facebook group called Cup, Coffee Cup Crafts and Conversation. Um, and this one's just coffee cup crafts with Kelly. But, uh, my first ever blog was, it's funny, it's C C C C C C K. <laughs> um, no, not even give me K. I think it's just coffee cup crafts and conversation. No, it was coffee cup crafts Christianity and conversation. That was the name of my blog. It was a little wordy you know but on the blog it's over at blogspot on the blog um, well, there was recipes crafts um, and uh, lately it's just been copies of my YouTube videos <clears throat> I haven't really had too much of a chance, but when I, you know, I'm able to upload my videos, I'll upload it there. I'll upload it to Pinterest and Blogspot. There we go. Now oh, that looks cool. I don't know if I should do it like this. Yeah, I think I'll do it that way. You know, like front, back. Or should I do it like this? Nah, I like it like that. Okay. So, well. Alright. So I'm going to take another piece of paper and I'm going to measure out so I can do an inside page and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut a piece uh, about a quarter of an inch shorter all the way around or eighth of an inch. 
well, a quarter of an inch on two sides, that gives me an eighth of an inch or so on, as a, as a, you know, gives you a little bit of a frame. And that's just to, you know, make the inside look pretty and a little bit more, a little bit more professional. You know, some, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's completely up to you. That's what I find I like about uh, paper pads because um, most most of the time, depending on the style and the whatever you get, uh, all of the papers color coordinate within the same pad. And then, of course, if you've got double-sided paper like this is, um, Then you've got, of course, twice the amount of options. Now, I'm not measuring this. I'm just eyeballing it. <clears throat> and then I'm just burnishing it down with a bone folder. Uh, helps the tape with a good good amount of stick. Now, of course, if you're doing a pattern that needs an up or a down, then of course you'd want to pay attention, but I'm not. So, I'm not paying attention to, you know, which way the, the paper's going. But yeah, I just thought I'm going to get a head start on Christmas presents, actually. I've got two of these to make, uh, different styles. Hi! And, uh, and I'll probably work on other stuff. I like Christmas crafts, I think, the most. Because it gives you, uh, I don't know, it just kind of lightens your spirit and that's if you celebrate Christmas. You know, some people do not. Some people celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, you know, and there's a myriad of other types of, of holidays around that time of the year. Some people just celebrate winter solstice. All right, there we go. Oops. Alrighty, now what we need to do, because it's the, just that simple, with everything else done, um, I want to make sure I get uh, the holes in the proper spot, and I thought I was going to use this, but with the cardboard I might just dig out my crocodile. Make sure these don't move. Well, I probably should have flipping <laughs> measured my holes first, right? Okay. Let's make this easy. Now, obviously, I'm not going to put it way up against the edge. I want a little bit of, a little bit more protection. But I do want to kind of center it from top to bottom. Uh, pencil. So let's go, and I'm just going to put a circle in the center. Oops. Now I'll put them together. And this is just to help keep them from separating. Yeah. 
let me grab my crocodile really quickly. Actually, give me one second and I'm going to grab the brads or the eyelets to go with it. Okay, well that took me a minute longer than I thought it would because my uh, the clamp that holds my camera uh, broke. It went kapoop. <laughs> so it took me a minute to try and figure out how to get my camera rigged back up so at least it'll help me finish this video. <clears throat> I want three of the same. Obviously, when you buy a mixed package, these are three sixteenths. You're going to get different colors, but I want the same. Uh, those are sort of the same. Yeah, they'll work. I don't know if I want that or the gold looking ones. I want the gold ones. Uh, that's if I can find enough because I need 12 of them all together so I can do six on this and then six on the on the back oh, that one's silver I may not be able to oh, we'll see Uh oh, somebody's trying to talk to me. Here's one, two, three. Um, well, maybe not. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. So let's split out one. go. Two, and we've got three, and we'll do that. There, we'll put two gold and a silver. So, at least there's some sort of... Alrighty, we'll do that. First, I need to make the holes. So, we want 3 sixteenths. There's a setting up here. You can change it to. I've got mine set for 3 sixteenths. Alright, and I want to make sure Yeah. I want to make sure that this is turned correctly. And I'm going to line it up. Oh, I guess way back here. Wasn't even paying attention. It's been a while since I've used this. So, there we go. And it poked through both. I love, I love this crocodile. <clears throat> And I just go down and poke all my holes. Oh yeah. And it's so much easier because this is almost like industrial as opposed to trying to do it with the little handheld hole punchers. And the hole punchers are great for paper, but when you're working with cardboard or something else then yeah it gets to be a little much your hands start to cramp and all right so now what I'm going to do now the reason I'm doing these this way is because you know it's cardboard and paper and you want 
to be able to have some sort of st stability with it. So we're going to do a gold, a silver, and a gold. And we're still at 16th, so what we're going to do is pull that down. And I believe I believe that is Okay, nope, I gotta move that now. There we go. Ah, oh, phooey, there we go. It's been a while since I've used it, and they're fairly easy to use. See? I'm going to put this over that hole. I'm going to push and squeeze. There. Yep. Now what this will do is this will also give me, or give the holes strength <clears throat> to, um, to handle the rings I'm going to put in it. Which are these, which I got at uh, the Dollar Tree, actually. And they'll run a lot smoother through the metal rivets as well. So that's that one. And on the inside, you see? So then let's do a gold, a silver, and a gold. And we'll do the same thing. And I'll do that with the back as well, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got them all finished, and I went ahead and put, put them in the rings. So this is, this is how it looks. Sorry if the lighting is a little off. I'm trying to to redo this with with the uh, camera falling it just kind of made everything all goofy so that's what it looks like opening up and I did add another little uh, piece in the back that's got a bunch of you know post-its on it so but yeah I'm finished it's got from January all the way to December notes and thoughts where you can fill in your own your own date your months and that's it so I'm gonna do the other one I'd started uh, on my break when I was doing this uh, my daughter called so I was kind of working on that I'm gonna do another one to finish the second one I've got which is a different style oops there goes my phone again hold on a second okay so I went ahead and did the insides of these poked the holes now I'm putting the I'm guessing they're rivets but I don't know the exact word for them and using my crocodile to uh, put these in <clears throat> so let me get these put in and I will be right back okay I wanted to show you something I put see how warped that is that's one of the rivets that didn't sit right in the in the little position on the crocodile so when I squished it down it squished it all warbledy is that a word warbledy warbled wobbled 
cockeyed? Eh, that'll work. Okay, so I got the front and the back done. And now I'm going to add these. And it's all kind of backwards, so. This one says, this planner belongs to. Uh, okay. We've got January goals on this one. Oh, that one says 2017. Huh. Alrighty then. Then what we're going to do. Well. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Okay. Well, the ones in the middle. I don't know. I could probably like white it all out or something, but I think I'm going to just pick up a new actually spend the money and and just buy the calendar spots or the calendar pages see if I can find blank ones though because I don't like having it um, dated so, but all right but that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna put it together and then this one will be will look like that with the rings I think that'll be really, really cool. So, on that note, I'm going to let you go. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping in and saying hi. And uh, always remember to find the humor in life, because if you don't, life sucks. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Toss me a comment. Especially about the Huskies, if you've got any advice on how to help raise a Husky, that would be awesome. Um, and subscribe if you like me. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.